ladies and gents and the rest today i'm going to show you the deck that allows you to stay afk and win but you would have to click a few buttons obviously right you know because something has to kill the enemy's base and that's going to be your your fingers or mouth whatever you use so the, we're going to build the deck, um, uh, actually, let's talk about the modifier, because the modifier is uh, what we're going to build our deck around. Super pooper easy and fun to do, you're going to, oh man, it's, it's so cool. Okay, Adrenaline adrenaline Rush. It, I click on that and it doesn't it doesn't pop up, it doesn't show anything, because uh, the game is super schmooper bugged, the first time ever. Uh, but what it does is... Um, your income increases as your base health decreases. In other words, the less HP your base has, the more gold, gold you generate. Um, I couldn't eyeball it. Do you like how much HP you have to lose to generate this much uh, gold? But just let me show you how it works. And because I, I don't want to give you numbers that I like, if I don't have the exact numbers, I don't want to bullshit you. Here is how, like, this is how the modifier works. And this is our deck. I'm going to show you why you need this deck and why you need Thalmus and not something else. So the way we, the way it works is um, our goal is to allow our enemy to decrease the HP of our base to a certain point. After that, we need to kill everything. That means that we're going to be getting way more gold than the opponent. I'm talking about the gold that you generate naturally. I'm not talking about gold that you mine or get from the chest. That does it's not affected. So, again, your opponent comes to you, beats your core. At some point, you just kill everything, and we'll talk about how to do it safely. And then you, put, you have a gold advantage, and for every gold that the opponent gets, you get like two gold or three gold. I can't, like I said, I can't eyeball it. I don't know exactly how much it is, but it's an enormous amount, and you just, it, it, you're, gonna be, you're gonna feel like you're playing against the child. That's, that's what it feels like. There's two things that you need, like if you decide to build the, the, the other deck with the other hero, there's two things that you need to make this combo work. Polymorph and Arcane Blast. Because you polymorph everything, whatever comes to your base, and you are king blast the crap out of it. After that, even if something survives, you already have enormous, like, it's even, it feels like it's more than uh, overtime. You generate a lot of gold, and you will be able to defend yourself even if something survives. But that is how you do it. It doesn't matter if the opponent takes your tower. You just literally, this is the AFK part, where you just sit and wait until your opponent comes to you and beats your core, and hits your core. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you what not to do, how to do it easily, how to, do, like, how to win all the games. <clears throat> Let's talk about the deck. It's super pooper. Like, it, it's not really, uh, you barely need any talents on these skills. So here's how it works. Uh, cheat death, like, we're going to be buffing Thalnos. Once we have uh, our core in the in the state that we need, right? Uh, we're gonna throw Thalnos. We're gonna cast all these spells, and uh, Thalnos will be unkillable. Here is like this is pretty much how we're gonna win the game. Cheat death. We need cheat death just to prevent Thalnos from dying. Uh, the talent doesn't really matter as long as you don't take bloodlust. You can take anything or no talent at all. I use vampirism because I have it, not because I really need it. Uh, smoke bomb absolutely you don't even need anything I, I use again i use the talent because i have it if you have like a smoke bomb level one it's it will work as well as uh, this smoke bomb arcane blast again there is no talent that buffs your damage that's why it doesn't matter what you take as long as you don't take uh the three gold i'll show you so you don't make a mistake arcane power don't take arcane power because we need as many casts as we need uh, to buff Thalnos's levels, right? So, don't take this. If you don't, uh, if you only have this, just remove it and go talentless. It's still better. It, it, it doesn't matter if it's talentless or not. It still does the same damage. Okay, here. Holy Nova with Amplify Magic. Effects are doubled on elemental units, which means our Thalnos. Our Thalnos is elemental, but it's going to be overhealed because it, it does double heal to elemental units. It, it will be overhealed if it's level uh, whatever you deployed, like 9, 10, 7. But when you get plus 10 levels, because you cast a lot of spells, that will not even heal you to full. But So that's why you take Amplify Magic. 
your HP pool will increase uh, while your Thalnus is on the battlefield, and you will need this talent, not the uh, not these ones, because they're gonna heal a little piece of shit. You will see it. You can try it if you want, but that is the talent that you need. And again, it's not necessary, but this is what I take, and this will actually help you. This is this will give you value in this in this deck, unlike the other three. Now, <clears throat> there is. I tried few <clears throat> combinations. Um, instead of sappers, you can take uh, ghoul. It will work really well. You can take uh, another spell like uh, deep breath or chain lightning. But again, it's, I didn't like to take the spell here to use a spell. <clears throat> and um, I use sappers first of all because sappers are the best in the world, right? Second, because it's easy to take towers back uh, or to take the uh, opponent's towers. Super pooper cool. Uh, but again, you can use, use Ghoul and it works really well. And Polymorph, on, in Polymorph, like, we will obviously use Ship, right? Uh, just to get a little, a little bit more gold back. Um, so yeah, this is, I would, if you have it, it's good. This is a very helpful. And Thalnos. Thalnos, we use Thalnos with Bane Talent that increases attack speed by 30% for 5 seconds when you cast a spell which means you cast spells and Thalmus hits like freaking truck and really he, he hits really fast because this um, Bane effect stacks one on, on the other. So uh, yeah, that is the deck. Now, why do we use Thalmus and not something else? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be like, oh, we can use Drakisat, it will work really well too. Yes, but Thalmus is, by the time he gets to the enemy's core, he he usually has plus nine, seven, usually ten levels, which means the the biggest weakness in uh, Warcraft Rumble, uh, in the biggest weakness in, in Warcraft Rumble PvP, is that any target can be polymorphed, and when it's polymorphed, even Drakisat turns into a little like you know blind kitten, it can be shit on by literally anything. However, Thalnos is plus 10 levels from everything else on the battlefield. That's why crowd control will barely work on Thalnos, will, will barely last on him. So that's why Thalnos, besides hitting like a freaking truck when you cast spells, he is also really hard to crowd control. He, uh, If you cast execute on Thalnos that is 10 levels higher than your execute, it's going to take a bit of HP from Thalmus, like 10 or 15%. It's, it, it's gonna look like shit. Like you, you, You're gonna feel pathetic if you play Jaina uh, against this guy. That's why Thalmus, in my opinion, is the best hero. So, but Because when you get to the enemy's core, remember, your core uh, is barely alive, but the enemy's core is full. You need to kill his core in one attempt. You're not gonna have a second chance, because if you don't kill his core and you're gonna have a little bit left and your heroes die, if they get polymorphed and killed, like actually what you did with the opponent. That means you both now barely have any HP on your course. That means now you're equals, which is exactly what we should avoid. Fair fights, right? That's why when you get to the core, you have to be sure that you kill it. While well, you have a gold advantage. That's why Thalmus, Thalmus, Thalmus. Mwah. Now let me show you a few games, what to do, what not to do, and how to do it. Let's go, Drakisat is number one. Yeah, now we have this uh, shitty looking countdown. Okay, I'm just throwing sappers on the left, just because I need, remember, I need Arcane Blast and Polymorph. Okay, I'm just, you know, messing with this. Uh, we don't really care about nothing. We only care about getting... Uh, Arcane Blast and Polymorph, and then we can, we can just stay AFK. Doesn't matter, if he takes all the gold, if he takes um, our tower... First of all, he can't have more than 10 gold anyway, so whatever the gold that he takes, if he doesn't, you know, throw any something useful on the, on the battlefield, he'll be gold capped, so we don't care. Um, um, do -do -do. Just wait, like I said, AFK. AFK, AFK, AFK. I'm actually doing it wrong right now, because I... Um, I'm planning to drop Thalnos and without Polymorph kill everything. But I think I will realize that, yeah, see, I, I realize that I don't have uh, Polymorph yet. And I and I have, I've, I've wasted, I, I spent um, cheat death and I will not have enough gold. I, I should have 10 gold by the time he starts attacking my core. But I think I will have some time, yeah, because he doesn't, you know, one. 
hit. Two hits. I'm gonna, okay, I'm throwing Thalnas. I'm polymorphing, killing everything. Now, look at my core now. This is not ideal. I could have lost a little bit more, but it's okay. It's acceptable. Now, look at my gold. Now, he is still who he was, but me, I am now super pooper rich. And what we're going to do, we're going to... You know, throw a few Thalnuses, buff the crap out of them, and we're going to shit on his core. And we have to do it in one attempt. Watch. Boom. Buffing Thalnuses. Buffing. Buffing. Boom. Polymorph. Killing everything. You see, like I said, with the, under the polymorph effect, anything turns into, like, trash. Okay. My Thalnus is level 18. Good luck, like the one in the middle. Good luck uh, crowd controlling this guy now. See, I just, <clears throat> I cast Holy Nova with Amplify Magic Effect, and, and it didn't even heal him to full. And after that, we just do exactly what I said. We need to kill. That's why I use sappers, you see? Half of the core minus right away. Boom. That's how it's done. Now, uh, we're going to play against uh, this Tyrion. And I'm going to show you. I think this is the loss. I'm going to show you what not to do here. Again, I already have everything that I need. Um, and all we need to do is, yeah, I'm just wasting gold because I have nothing else to do. Um, throw in... Cobalt, just messing around. All we need to do is we need to lose lose a little bit of, like, that little bit of, like, ideally 80% uh, HP on the core. And after that, we're going to, um, we're just going to repeat the exact same thing that we did in the first game. <clears throat> I, um, I believe I'm making a mistake here, yeah. I am. I threw my Thalnos, and I was. I thought maybe I can kill his core with one Thalnos if I buff him to like maximum level. Um, so that is the mistake that I believe I made. Yeah, see, I'm trying to get extra levels on Thalnos. It's already level uh, level 15, but it's not. I don't think it's going to be enough to make things work. And that is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna keep fall. I'm keep uh, getting closer to his core, hoping that I'm gonna kill him. Um, pa 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 pa. Yeah. Casting polymorph. My top thalnus gets buffed, level seventeen, and I believe this is exactly what. Yeah, you see. Under the polymorph effect with a deep breath. Deep breath did double damage to my thalnus. It still it couldn't survive. It died. And I'm I keep doing this. I keep I keep approaching his core, hoping to kill it. And I threw one more thalnus right there. And uh this is the mistake that you don't want to make. Just do what I told you. Just wait until he damages your core and he throws gargoyles actually. Um, but instead of that, I, I thought I was like the top. Uh, like, like, watch, watch. You see this? You see what I'm doing? And then I died? Are you looking at it? This is exactly what he should have done to me. Which means now he's generating gold like crazy. And I'm sitting on this little piece. Of, like, I'm not generating shit. And now I'm going to pay for it. And now obviously he throws things left and right. And there's nothing they can do. This is what you should not do. Don't try to push his core while being equal gold-wise. Okay? All you have to do is have Arcane Blast and Polymorph on your bar. And after that, you're going to be the king. Uh, if you survive that, obviously. I'm trying to save myself, but it, it, I, I already realized that like, you, know, you, know, you can't hear my stream, but I'm, I already told everybody that this, that this is it. Unfortunately, he has too much stuff coming at me from all the sides. And this too much stuff is going to kill me in one attempt. And there is absolutely nothing I can do. See, two gargoyles, two Tyrians. That's what happens when you make mistakes. Yep. Yeah. Let's keep going. Oh! Same guy, by the way, but this time, I, this, is, this happened right after the first game. So now, look what I'm going to do. Like, now, I will not go anywhere until he damages my core. I'm just going to sit there, like I said, AFK, you, don't, you do nothing. 
all I need right now is uh, polymorph on my bar, and then that's it. I'm just I'm just gonna sit there and wait. So I threw these two, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I go like this. Boom, boom. Take the core. So I would take the tower. And that's it. This gargoyle is gonna try to kill our. Is gonna take our right tower. We don't care. Like I said, I'm doing that, but it's not really necessary. <clears throat> um, like, like I said, we need to have ten gold, um, polymorph and arcane blast by the time our core is like twenty percent. After that, everything dies. Okay, see this? So his gargoyle took my tower, and now he's going to try to kill my. Um, core. He just uh, deep breathed my thalnus. And let's see what's going to happen now. Second gargoyle. Ooh. Um, bam. We don't care. And now, boom, boom, boom. I think I did it too early. Yeah. I cast cheat death so he doesn't deep breath me. And unfortunately, and I also missed the uh, Holy Nova. Because I was uh, I was nervous. So here is uh, what we did with that. We lost a little bit of HP on the core. Obviously, now we're already generating more gold than he does. However, uh, it's not ideal. We don't have like too much gold yet. So um, that is uh, what's happening. I hope you understand how this strategy works. Super not not scumbag, but that's what uh, the mechanic forces us to do pretty much this new modifier adrenaline rush so this thalmus is gonna stay here that thalmus keeps going and i believe that thal like even this uh, gold generation that we have we only lost like half hp will be enough to not let him recover i think i think obviously his score by the way is level 10 you see uh, how short the duration of stun was because our thalmus is level 19 this is the maximum level in this case because my thalmus was level uh level uh 10 uh, level 9 sorry and by the way deep breath <laughs> couldn't kill uh that uh, top thalmus so see that's how it's done that's how you sh how I sh what i should have done first game so uh now how to play against hogger <laughs> How do you play against anything in this uh, with this modifier? You do the exact same thing. You just sit there and you screw around and you just wait until he damages your core. That's all you do. Level 10 as well. The only problem with Hogger is he's very dangerous because he's going to be very fast and um, he will throw a enough Hoggers. As you can see, he has a cycle deck. He has like one and two gold units and a Hogger. And um, yeah, that's what's going to happening it, it, psychologically it, it very um there's a lot of tension uh when you see this you see this whole thing coming at you in your core with this piercing tower this is this little piece of shit that is defending and you're pretty much defenseless here's what we're gonna do right now okay half hp da -da 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 -da, we throw on this guy boom 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 polymorph let's the let's go I was actually in this uh, game. I was I replaced Cypress with Deep Breath to see if it's gonna work. It kind of worked, but I don't like it. Still, I don't feel comfortable playing like that. By the way, this is the ideally how much you want uh, your core, how much HP your your core you want your core to have. Sorry. So uh, I will explain you why uh, in the next game. Just remember this fact right now. Okay. So what we do well, now we have millions of gold and he doesn't have shit. So um, our thalnesses are super pooper strong. And now he will throw um, his very strong hogger on us. Or not on us, on the core. He will try to kill my core. Uh, but there is absolutely no way he can do it. Uh, because, uh, like, like I said, I have so much gold. And one polymorph will pretty much turn him into garbage. So, um, yeah. Thalnos, by the way, has uh, one weakness. When he starts attacking on the core, he is defenseless. So, um, yeah. And right now, this is a very risky moment because uh, now he has a lot of gold as well. And uh, what we need to do is we need to kill... Yeah, like I, I knew that. That's why I waited until he throws Hogger. And that is how we win this game, boys. Um, 
Sneed. Sneed is not really a popular hero, but the player was very strong, and Sneed on Gadget Zan is a very, very strong hero because um, by just retaking towers, he can gain so much gold even in the normal conditions without adrenaline, adrenaline rush. That's why I decided to show you this game. We do the exact same thing. The only problem uh, and on, on this map is you need to have towers. Uh, you need to control enemies' towers before you can get to his core. That is the problem. And uh, I'm going to be dropping things left and right just to look for a moment. <clears throat> uh, this is the most dangerous map for Thalnas because you need to take towers first. You need to do a lot of calculations before you deploy some units or cast some spells, you know, stuff like that. Ba -ba -ba. I didn't realize that I was doing stupid things. I was capturing towers, but every time Sneed captures tower with uh, Siege unit, he gain, gains a lot of gold. So every time he casts, uh, he throws Cypress on me, on my towers, for example, uh, he gets gold. And uh, you see this? I left, uh, my left tower is just gone, and he killed it with uh, sappers which means he got gold and that is very dangerous thing so again uh what i'm trying to do is i have no idea what i'm trying to do but uh you wh what i need to do is i need to kill his army as soon as my core get uh, lo loses hp okay for some reason i do this i'm doing this stupid stuff uh, trying to take my tower back without realizing that he will actually gain extra gold if he kills it back takes it back with a siege unit Okay, so now he starts hitting my core, and that is exactly I, I'm doing a lot. Of, I'm making a lot of mistakes. Uh, so he starts hitting my core. This is exactly what I needed. Now we are in the perfect conditions. Now let's just win this game. That's all we need. After that, I believe this is going to be the end, and uh, he will not recover from that. We lost a little bit, like we lost the HP on the core, and that means, and if he is in full HP, he's dead. All we need to do is just escort a few Thalnuses to his core. And uh, in one attempt, we're going to take it. Easily, schmeasily. Casting spells. Restoring Thalnuses HP. Giving absolutely no about it. You know what I'm saying? And I think he realized it and he's not even resisting. Up. 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 So, down this level 16. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Boom. 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 That's why I love my sappers, my boys. Boom, 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 boom. Dead. Now I'm going to show you what not to do. Yeah. I've showed you one case when you damage the enemy's core without having your core damaged. Uh, now I'm going to show you um, what else can happen. The beginning is pretty standard. Um, I'm just for some reason I just wasted my arcane blast. It was the beginning when I was started when I started testing the deck. I was doing this uh, stupid things. So I don't know why. <clears throat> I already had arcane blast, but uh, now I have to cycle through. All right, so he starts hitting my core. I'm again. I'm, I'm wasting time spells and okay. So he's attacking my core. I obviously don't care about it for now. And I'm waiting until I lose more HP. Alright. RPs are coming. I still think I didn't lose enough. I haven't lost enough yet. And I am waiting until he takes more. I'm preparing my Thalnus to kill all that. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Now. Harpies were damaging my tower. That's why that is not what's going to be left. I'm going to lose way more HP, and I kind of lost too much already. I'm doing really, really good. However, as you... Yeah, you see? This guy has deep breath, and I saw this deep breath. I didn't pay attention to that. Things happen. All right. Boom. So uh, I was actually using a ghoul instead of Cypress, but it's no big deal. So what he's trying to do, he's trying to just kill my core. And it's actually a very right thing to do. The problem with that, I lost too much HP on the core. And he has deep breath. And in this situation, you know what's going to happen, right? 
That's what's going to happen. That is what not to do as well. I hope you understand how it works. I have plenty of games. I just didn't want to show you everything. It's pretty much the exact same thing. It's If it's Talonless on Talonless, you do the exact same thing. If he doesn't do anything, you don't do anything. You just wait until he comes to you. And um, that is pretty much the reality, guys. Uh, it's a very fun thing to do. Oh, by the way, I'm going to give you one life hack that if no, don't tell anybody that I told you. A couple of times I was I would do this. If I had um, Arcane Blast and Polymorph on my starting hand right away, what I would do, I would give a thumbnail to uh, th thumbnail <laughs> thumbs up to the guy, say showing that you can you can kill me. I'm an AFK, you know, get some free points, and he would you know he would give me a thumbs up back. But we know how it works, right? So whenever he would damage 70% of my core, obviously he's throwing things left and right, just trying to win the game quickly, right? He doesn't really, he's not thinking about anything anymore. And whenever I would lose like 70% of HP, <laughs> I would obviously delete everything that came to me and I would start playing. I did it a few times, obviously, maybe it would have happened anyway, but I did it intentionally. It's a kind of asshole thing to do, um, but if you do it, do it. I don't, I don't care. It's a lot of fun. I mean, ruining people's day, you know, what can be better, right? Um, yeah, so if I didn't, if I needed points for my, you know, to get my 20k, I'd probably, you know what I would do off stream, right? You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell you anything. This is how it works. This is your homework for this week because next week the new season starts. Uh, new PvP journey, new PvE journey. Woo! Um, I hope it was informative. That's all.